one third of our lifetime we sleep. So average, like 20 to 25 years we sleep. Just simply think about it. We sleep 25 years sleeping. Do you think it's a short time? 25 years sleeping in the bed, lying down. That is a lot of the time. And if you look closely, most of those times, 25 years of our life, we might be sleeping big time in the sleep of ignorance. That means no sense of what's happening. No some sense of growing or development. Big time of that time, we are also getting caught up with a lot of stories of human afflictions. Different emotions, different thoughts, different feelings, absolutely confusing. We spend big part of those 25 years dreaming those things, experiencing those things in our body, in our field of energy, in our mind. So the dream yoga practice is to help not to waste those 25 years. Through dream yoga practice, one will recognize one's limitations that one is not conscious of. One will able to clear those blockages. One will able to discover one's most inner potential qualities. And one will able to enhance those qualities in dream, through the dream, in our life, in our everyday life, day-to-day -day work. We are able to manifest, bring out that places. So, it's a fantastic a tool, a, a knowledge. Many times we say, oh, I don't have a time for practice. I would love to practice. Practice really helps me. But I don't have a time. Today I don't have a time. This weekend I'm going to spend a few hours of practice. Today I don't have a time. So many times we have a good excuse not having enough time. Of course, all those are kind of nonsense. We have time for everything. Why we don't have a time for practice? The moment of the death comes, that would be a good place to say, oh, I don't have a time to die. But you can't. So, but anyway, that, that's the human limitation. We say those things. So, think about that. Who says, oh, I don't have a time to go to sleep? From enlightened, high uh, enlightened masters to a violent criminal, a rich to poor, there's no limit. Everybody go to sleep. When the sleep time comes, everybody go to sleep. Either it's in the in the in the room in the palace or in the street, people go to sleep. So imagine now. But those 25 years time could be used and we, we, will, we can use those time to practice. So think about this is the, uh, discovering a whole another 25 years of time in life. There is opportunity to practice. For example, if somebody goes to sleep, before you go to sleep, you go with a positive thought, like feeling so much love. You're feeling that in your body, feeling that in the field of energy, in the breath, feeling that in your heart. When you go to sleep like that, in some way, entire night, that six, seven, eight hours, you are meditating on that love. Or in that joy, whatever emotions that you are feeling in that moment. 
Because in the morning you get up with smile. Why not? Why not? Why you will not get up with smile? Because whole seven hours you are feeling great. Other days we know. Before we go to sleep, what do we do? We do all the wrong things. We look at our day. We count all the wrong thing happened. I met that terrible person. That terrible person did terrible thing. I couldn't finish my work. There are more job to do tomorrow. I have two deadlines tomorrow. I have. I look at my to do list, the piece of note list things. I bring from my office to kitchen, kitchen to my bedroom. In my mind, I think about them. In the morning. In the night, when you're sleeping, you're exhausted, tired, bad quality of sleep. Why? Because in whole night, somehow, subconsciously, you're looking at that list, to-do list, undone list, failure list. Because you are so engaged with those thoughts and emotions before you went to sleep. So next day, you get up. Whole body is aching. You feel kind of depressed. No enthusiasm of life. Of course, in some sense, it makes sense. Who wanted to get up in that world? The world is so much undoed. A world is full with the deadlines. Deep inside, you don't want to wake up in that world. But if you go in the right way, with the right thought and right emotion, entire night can be a deep meditation. But it requires a preparation before you go to sleep. It requires a clear attention before you go to sleep. Ten, fifteen minutes, half an hour before you go to sleep. Just prepare your mindset right away. I give one example. If you're sleeping in a bunk bed and you tell yourself, "I should not move too much tonight, otherwise I will fall down," and you go to sleep, very likely. Entire night, you will not move much, because you have consciously taught yourself that awareness. Awareness is holding whole night. It's not repeating, saying I, I don't shouldn't move. I shouldn't move. But it's it's aware of that. Your awareness is cultivating without even you knowing it. Or you say,、oh, I have to get up five in the morning. I have to take a、uh, train tomorrow, eight o'clock or whatever. You're very likely to be getting up at five in the morning, because where you give your message to yourself. So these informations are stored properly before you go to sleep. So, so this is think about this: the dream yoga practice is it's a a great a ways of enhancing、uh, personal development and spiritual development to enhance these qualities through the dream yoga practice because we. Find whole another time space in the night.